Jesus is a biscuit. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 RuPaul's Drag Race moments that made us laugh uncontrollably. For this list, we're looking at the most gut-busting moments in Drag Race history. Which of these entries had you wheezing like RuPaul? Sound off in the comments below. Number 10. Tia Coffee Assesses Her Look The Queen's runway commentary is a highlight of any Drag Race episode. While most of the contestants use the opportunity to talk themselves up, UK drag queen Tia Coffee was less than enthusiastic about her own design. It looks cheap, and I don't want you to look cheap. Okay. Unless it's intentional, and I don't think that's intentional. Right. Tia's hilariously straightforward self-critique of this outfit, quote, made of materials that is on her body, became an instant classic. But not even her snake arms could distract the judges from noticing just how subpar the look was. Now, Jordan, Tia is basically a sample size. Oh, well, you can't really tell here. <laughs> You've got the frame, so it's like, don't hide it, just embrace it. Regardless, Tia maintained a positive attitude about it, racking up the judging panel with her banter. What do you think I'm gonna say? I think you're gonna say it's stunning and you should have been in the top. <laughs> <laughs> Even the notoriously critical Michelle Visage couldn't help but laugh at the queen's complete commitment to the bit. Number 9. Roxy's Sequence Gown What is it about drag queens being wrong that's just so funny? Over the years, RuPaul's Drag Race has been a veritable mishmash of malapropisms. Most notably, Alyssa Edwards' take on post-mortem rigidity. Rigor Morris, girl! It was Rigor Morris, girl! Mor who's Morris? But few are as memorable as the one that brought the recording of the timeless drag anthem Can I Get an Amen to an absolute halt. Fans can never forget when season 5 queen Roxy Andrews made it clear that a sequin dress is actually called a sequins dress. When life is bringing you down, put on a shiny sequins gown. Why? Because it has more than one sequin. Duh. Is it wrong English? Look, we stan a grammar queen, but yes, Roxy, sequins dress is indeed wrong English. Number 8. Latrice Makes Peace Season 4 fan favorite and Miss Congeniality winner Latrice Royale was quick to laugh. <laughs> But she somehow always managed to be poised when she threw major shade. Her insightful and sometimes biting commentary on her fellow queen's behavior was funny and accurate. The level of unprofessionalism, far too much. Nowhere was that clearer than in this episode 9 challenge, which had the queens face off in a mock presidential debate. Guest judge Dan Savage asked Latrice the last time she made peace with someone. The quick-witted queen took the opportunity to get in a major dig at the season's apparent villain, Fifi O'Hara. About five minutes ago, I looked across at Miss O'Hara and realized that she was ugly. Ooh. And I'm at peace with that. It was so good that even her competitors fell apart with laughter. Number 7. Back Rolls Full disclosure, body shaming is never okay. Still, every Drag Race fan remembers where they were when back rolls happened. Jade, I've never came for your look or your, your body weight or anything like that. While Alyssa Edwards and Coco Montrese may have had the most legendary feud of season 5, young Jade Jolie threw her wig in the ring during this classic Untucked episode. After receiving some unsolicited advice from the dancing queen herself, Jade snapped back with a vengeance. Girl, if I was going to judge, judge anyone, I'd judge you on that body where their shoulders judge. should match them hips, you, but you they don't. All. She took a shot at Alyssa's shoulders not matching her hips, and also accused her of having back rolls. Girl, you had rolls all over the place in the back. It was disgusting. Back rolls. Alyssa Edwards is a queen of unintentional physical comedy. Her eye-popping reaction to Jade's insult is what really enshrined this phrase in the Drag Race lexicon. Number 6. Crystallized Chicken Excelling at Drag Race means believing you are the most gorgeous thing on the runway, no matter what. Kennedy Davenport put that theory to the test with her death becomes her look. She a chicken or a horse? Kitty, a girl. What probably came off as a bedazzled, dirt brown chicken bodysuit to the audience was actually, in her mind, the height of glamour. Let's just say it would definitely stop traffic. And maybe a few hearts, too. So I come out a fierce glamazon drag queen, honey. Needless to say, her season 7 sisters Ginger Minj and Katya had questions about the meaning behind the outfit. Kennedy's long and drawn out explanation only made the moment all the more iconic. That is the power of drag and delusion. I had crystallized. Oh. 
And now I'm a Glamazon bitch ready for the runway. Number five, RuPaul versus Tammy Brown. Walk some children in nature before you come for her. Tammy Brown may be dramatic, but she does not do drama. Experience. Why do you have to be it? Why do we have to be the negative assholes? When RuPaul tried to lecture her during the very first reunion special, the host clearly did not realize the future all-star was not one to be messed with. When faced with conflict, the kooky and unflappable Tammy's defense is usually some outrageous non sequitur. Oh, come on, Teletubby! Teleport us to Mars! Her quip about walking children in nature still confounds us to this day, and only Tammy can make such a retort at Rue and get away with it. Yes, you both call me losers, and I don't see you out there walking children in nature. Many queens have stood up to the host since then, but none as hilariously as Tammy Brown. Number four. Orange Gate. Alyssa Edwards and Coco Montrese's off show rivalry became one of the defining story arks of season five. You were used to be with me runner up and being um, behind me. Don't switch the game up now, Mama. The two took constant pot shots at one another over some pageant drama that was never totally explained on the show. However, things weren't all fun and games for Coco. The tension got so thick in the workroom that Alyssa's so called jokes about her makeup brought her to the point of rage. I'm not joking, bitch. The ridiculous comment and Coco's immortal response have since become some of the most quotable lines for Drag Race fans. You took that picture by default. No, I took that picture because you couldn't do the job, bitch. It may be the defining moment of the two queens feud, but it's also one of the most meme-worthy scenes from the entire series. Number 3. Jinx Monsoon as Judy Garland the all-winners edition of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars gave Jinx Monsoon the chance to showcase her top-notch comedy skills once again. She even let her last boyfriend down easy. She said, let's just be cousins. <laughs> when it comes to legendary performances, though, her Snatch Game recreation of gay icon Judy Garland is destined to go down as one of the best in Drag Race history. It's, it's so wonderful to be here. It's, <laughs> it's wonderful to be anywhere, really. Yeah. From her masterful old Hollywood accent to spontaneously bursting into song, Jinx manages to bring the long dead legend back to life. And who doesn't love a little dirty humor to top things off? Did I ever tell you about the time I was in a Dean Martin and Frank Sinatra sandwich? Rue, the judges, and even her fellow competitors could not deny how hilarious Jinx's impersonation was. Number 2. Miss Vanjie. When she showed up on set for season 10, Vanessa Vanjie Mateo probably didn't intend to go home first. Vanessa Vanjie Mateo, you've done your house proud, and I have just one thing to say. Bam! <laughs> now, sashay away. And she most likely didn't think she'd become a meme either. But that is exactly what happened by the end of the very first episode of the season. All of America watched as a despondent Vanjie repeated her name three times and then vanished from our screens forever. Or at least until the next season. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. What could we do but laugh? Rue, Michelle Visage, and the other queens kept referencing the iconic moment throughout the season. And before they knew it, it would become an internet sensation. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Miss Vanjie. Who says going home first can't make you a star? Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. River Medway's Traffic Cone. The judges lost it over River's playful Thomas Waghorn inspired look. I don't know what that is! <laughs> Party. Katya's coolly evil response to Alaska's meltdown remains a classic. I need to go to the end of this competition. I need to. Party. Monet exchanges fake split. Monet said, What's better than a split? A fake out split. <laughs> Gigi Good as Maria the Robot. Gigi shocked everyone with her hilarious performance as Maria the Robot. Hi, Maria. What's up, bitch? Oh. <laughs> Vivacious's entrance. Mother took quite a while to actually arrive. Mother yeah. has arrived. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Utica Serves Face 
A workroom visit with RuPaul turns wacky when the host asks season 13 contestant Utica Queen if she's ever smoked a certain illicit herbal substance. Have you ever smoked weed before? Unsure how to answer the question without incriminating herself, Utica does what any sensible person would do. She makes a series of faces for the camera that become more and more unhinged as the seconds stretch on. There's nothing all that clever about it, but RuPaul's echoing laughter and Utica's relentless grimaces make for a ball of fun, quirky, and ridiculous joy. <laughs> Legend has it that Rue's lungs grew three sizes that day. <laughs> the rest of us, however, are still catching our breath. Miss Vangie. Even the notoriously critical Michelle Visage could even the not even the notoriously critical Michelle Visage couldn't help but laugh. Even the notoriously critical Mis no, I can't. Even the notoriously critical Michelle Visage couldn't help but laugh at the Queen's complete commitment to the bit.